Desert blue and silver in the still moonshine. Coyote yapping lazy on the hill. Sleepy winks of lightning down the far skyline. Time for milling cattle to be still. So now the lightning's far away. Coyote's nothing scary. He's singing to his dearie. seems the same to me. So now, for dreams they never pay, the dust keeps us blinking, we're seven miles from drinking. Stretches out to the edge of the sky Through the desert so empty and bright When I'm watching those miles as they go crawling by And I'm hoping I'll get there by night And my horse never speaks through the long sunny day But my saddle he sings in his creaky old way Where do you do what you just gotta do when there are no bushes or trees? And you're setting the straddle a hard leather saddle and you can't even clinch your knees. <laughs> they don't know what's the matter when your teeth start to chatter and your face turns sweaty and pale. Oh, where do you go when there's no place to go on the bright angel trail? <laughs> now where is Emily Post when we need her the most? There's some things we really must know. When caught on a ledge, do you go to the edge and shout, Look out below? <laughs> is it just a faux pas? Or if caught by the law, will they drag you off to the jail? Tell me what are the rules when you're riding the down the bright angel trail Cause if there's no place to go Then I guess I won't go Down the bright angel trail <laughs> It's a um, wonderful song. It's, it's an odd song. <laughs> Speaking of inspiration coming from odd places, um, a couple years ago when I was playing down at the Folklore Preserve, they put me up at the uh, Ramsey Canyon Inn, the bed and breakfast just up the road there. And Sunday morning I was out walking around in the preserve and I noticed that the deer that were living up there were very, very, very placid. They didn't seem frightened of people at all. So when I came back, I was talking to Bill, the innkeeper, about my walk and mentioned how tame the deer seemed. And he said, well, I used to feed them. Oh. And I said, oh, yeah. And he said, well, yeah, I would go and I'd get these big sacks of corn and I'd scatter it around the grounds of the inn right about check-in time. <laughs> so uh, all the tourists are coming, there's all these deer standing around and it's very picturesque. And he said it got to where they knew the sound of my truck and I'd be coming up you know, around the bend there, and you'd see the deer coming down from the hills, going, soup's on! <laughs> Until finally, somebody from Game and Fish came along, and they said, you can't do that, you gotta stop, because they're easy prey, because they're not paying attention anymore, they're just hanging out, eating the free food. And so he stopped doing it. And um, 
So all the way back home to Phoenix, I just couldn't get this story out of my head <laughs> about those those poor deer <laughs> and how bummed out they must have been when the food stopped. And, and so um, it ended up being this song called Free Lunch. So, so you got to pretend I'm a deer. <laughs> Oh, there's a free lunch at the Ramsey Canyon Inn. Bill serves corn for us to munch. Woohoo! We'll never be thin again. When you hear that truck pull up, then it's ready, steady, go to get that free lunch. And all you gotta do is show. Well, he's got to be the nicest human that ever came down the pike. He goes and buys his corn because he knows that's what we like. And then he comes back here and spreads it all around. And all in the world we've got to do is eat it off the ground to get that free lunch at the Rams Canyon Inn. Bill serves corn for us to munch. Yeah, we'll never be thin again. When you hear that truck pull up, then it's ready. They'll stand around and talk about how cute they are, by gosh. They'll take lots of pictures, show them to the folks back home. But we can just ignore them. Hurry up. Come on, come on. Let's get that free lunch at the Rams Canyon Inn. Bill serves corn for us to munch. Woo! We'll never be thin again. When you hear that truck pull up, then it's ready. You gotta do a show up. But bad news gave the fish came by, told Bill he'd have to quit. They said coyotes would start coming round, and some of us might get bit. And Bill who cares about us, so he stopped bringing corn. Now when we're hungry, we just stand around and mourn. There ain't no free lunch, yeah, it's true. What they say, we gotta go and browse around for our own food every day. No free lunch, oh Bill, we miss you so. Bring back that free lunch, oh where did that corn go? There was a free lunch at the Rams Canyon Inn. Bill served corn for us to munch, we thought we'd never be thin again. We'd hear that truck pull up. It was ready, steady, go to get that free lunch. And all we had to do was show up. I hear that truck coming. It's coming around. <laughs> 